G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to test out this little gadget. This is something that I picked up from Timu a couple of months back. So I have actually tested it out and it does work. Uh, this is an OBD2 diagnostic car scanner. Now if you've got any fault codes like a check engine light popping up on your dash, it's supposed to be able to uh, actually detect the fault and even clear the fault as well as show you some real-time information as well, as you can see there. So yeah, it runs off Bluetooth. I thought I'll try it out. I bought this a couple of months back uh, from Timu. They do range in price uh, between about $5 Australian to $7 Australian. So yeah, I thought I'll pick one up from Timu for I think it would cost me six bucks. Like I said, they average between five to $7 Australian, even less in US dollars, of course. And uh, yeah, I thought I'll pick one up and try it out now this does not come with any instructions at all um, it's just this little plastic packaging and there's the obd2 reader now when you plug this in you just plug it into the obd2 port obviously this is the male pin connector for this device and uh, on your car itself it's got the female plug just it should be tucked underneath your dash on most cars and uh, then you've got your power indicator lights, PC, and the OBD2 once it's uh, working. Now, as you can see, there's no instructions, but there is a PDF file. I'll put up some screenshots of the instructions. You can just download that from Timu. I just grabbed it from one of the Timu sellers. So I'll have that scrolling on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, this works off an app, of course, to your phone. Let's uh, test it out, guys. I'll plug it into my car. And we'll see if I've got any error codes. Last time I did use it, there was no error codes when I tested this out a couple of months ago. But uh, I'll show you some of the um, features of the app, uh, the way it's laid out, and all the different uh, sub menus. And uh, yeah, let's test it out, guys. Okay, guys, we're in the app now. Uh, I've got it connected to the OBD scanner via Bluetooth. And as you can see, we've got quite a few different options here and sub menus so we've got the dashboard one shows the engine rpm uh, it's all in metric so we've got kilometers an hour for speed we've got coolant temp in degrees celsius and on this page we've got some extra information here in eight different boxes so kilometers per liter all right so we'll go back okay we also got live data it says select live data mode I'm just gonna you can have it separate or combined I'm gonna choose combined so we're gonna make access to all those click OK oh you can only collect two in this free version all right so I guess we'll calculate intake manifold pressure and vehicle speed. How's that? Get those two. Diagnostic trouble codes. So uh, you can go through and diagnose your car, see if any codes pop up. Now I've done this before and there was no code, so I'm not gonna bother doing it again. But as you can see, you can select all the different uh, areas of the ECU that you want to uh, check. Freeze frame, not too sure that's, I guess it's uh, gonna save or store any uh, errors there. Okay. Non-continuous monitoring. Okay, what does it say here? Uh, check engine may occur. Okay, get out of that one. You can upgrade it to a Pro version of the app. Okay, my cars. I'm not going to disconnect first. We'll forget about that. Uh, but I have selected my actual car, which is a Hyundai. Settings. As you can see, my car's there. Hyundai gets 1.5 liter. Uh, vehicle options. Fuel consumption. So there's quite a bit of. Uh, Bit of info here. Let's click on dashboard. Shows you different themes, so you can have light or dark. It's pretty cool. Or the standard blue. I think uh, 
the light one is the best apply theme hit up display if you want that click on fuel consumption what they got in there all right so petrol diesel electric vehicle ethanol so forth we have units up here which is either imperial or metric it's already set default as metric because i'm australian we use a metric system so i'm going to leave it like that but if you live in america you might want to put it over to imperial interface we've got the language is auto english increase and decrease the font size so quite a few uh different options here in the settings menu all right guys so i've got my iphone in my phone holder here on the dashboard so what i'm going to do is click dashboard i'm going to turn my car on so showing up revs per minute consumption instant fuel rate all right so yeah we've got live telemetry via the app using the OBD2 scanner So I'm on the live data here and I've chosen the manifold air pressure as well as the speed. Speed is in green as you can see there. And the manifold readings are in red. seven dollars it's definitely uh giving me some sort of live telemetry which is good okay so now i've just changed the parameters to coolant temp and the timing advance okay so it's reading that it's uh, 84 degrees Celsius so you can chop and change whatever you want to show on the graph which is pretty cool off let's see what the fuel percentages are like uh, engine load as well the 
let's uh, try that out. So we've got engine load and fuel consumption percentage. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the petrol browser here at the bottom statistics. We'll see what it actually recorded. So uh, we've got machine hours. I guess that's 10 minutes. Average speed there, 25 k's. I'm just going around the neighbourhood. Average fuel consumption, 18 k's per litre. Distance travelled, as you can see, only went 2.12 k's. And the fuel amount used, which wasn't much at all, 110 milliliters. And the price, 11 cents worth of fuel. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed so far for the price. Not bad. All right, so now I've gone for a drive. Let's try out the diagnostic trouble code, see if there was any. Okay, so I'm going to select OBD2. And we're going to read and see if it will pick up any trouble codes. As you can see, it's scrolled and it quickly determined that there is no diagnostic trouble codes present. If you do have uh, trouble codes present on the phone screen here, uh, you've got that clear prompt on the bottom. So if you've got check engine lights or some other code popping up, maybe airbag warning light or something like that, you can clear those codes. All right, now I'm gonna go into all sensors. And we can see the OBD module voltage there, 12.6 volts. Misfire is not available. So all of them are being completed. As I said before, there was no uh, diagnostic trouble codes, which we've just done just now, uh, just to check. And so there's a list there, that's all good. Um, you can see the engine coolant temp. Now the car's turned off, it's still at, sitting at 83 degrees. And it's just showing you some of the, uh, some of the data from when we ran the car. So intake air temperature, 36 degrees. Oxygen sensor voltage. So uh, yeah, pretty good guys. Look at all that information, the average speed, fuel consumption. Uh, distance traveled there once again, 2.12 k's because I only went around the block. Oh, they even got a horsepower rating. Uh, that's at zero there. Maybe because I'm not running the car, but um, that would be interesting to see if that was, this is real time uh, also while you've run in the car. So there you go, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with this, uh, this purchase for only six bucks. I think I paid for it a couple of months back. Like I said, you can get it between five to seven bucks on Timu. Uh, obviously you can buy them on AliExpress, eBay, and other, other websites. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been pretty fun to test this little uh, cheap OBD2 scanner tool that just plugs straight into the OBD2 port underneath your dashboard and gives you live telemetry uh, on your phone straight to your Bluetooth. Uh, connection on your phone so uh, if you like this video guys as always post your comments below and if you're new to the channel feel free to like subscribe and uh, yeah I'll catch you on the next video